All right, what's up guys? So today I wanna to go over something that I get asked questions on quite often, and that's how to do a bolt override or how to clear a bolt override. Now, a bolt override isn't the worst malfunction in the world, but it does lock up your gun a bit and, uh, and stop you from being able to manipulate a lot of the parts on the gun, or at least the main part, which is the bolt. Um, one of the things that I've seen is a lot of people will either go ahead and collapse a stock and do something called mortaring uh, the rifle to try and clear this. Uh, and it's a very forceful way to try and clear it. The problem with that technique is you're, you're causing a lot of internal stress on the gun. Um, there's no need to. Uh, the other method I've seen is where somebody goes ahead and takes a a uh, tool like a Gerber or a Leatherman tool and tries to, to either pry it out or pry the bolt back to release the little round. Now, to explain what a bolt override is, it is where the bolt, right, or let's say charging handle, right? Right here, charging handle. It is in the closed position, so the farthest forward position. There's a piece of brass up stuck inside that channel and the bolt head is just underneath. So it's pinning it down there. And when you move the charging handle, it pulls the piece of brass with the bolt. So what this does is now <laughs> we're all fucked up and we can't get the gun going. So I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to clear this. So to set it up, uh, by the way, this only works on DI guns. Uh, I believe every piston gun um, or at least I know for a fact the PWS guns because they're long stroke piston. This does not work. Don't try to put it in there because it's an unnatural thing and you may get it actually stuck where you will have to pry it out because it's not a natural malfunction on a piston gun, especially the PWSs. Now, other piston guns, I can't tell you because I don't own any of those pieces of shit. So, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, in reality, that's, that's what I know. So, Grabbing a piece of brass, because this does not happen with a live round, so don't do it with a live round. You're also, uh, you could blow up your fucking gun by putting a live round down there, because now you're gonna be jamming it. You may ignite the primer, igniting the round, and causing a huge issue. So do not do this with a live round, only a piece of brass. So putting it inside, right, making sure charging handle's back, right, making sure the bolt is in the most rearward position, close the bolt. Now, I'll show you guys close-ups on this, but essentially what you have is the piece of brass is stuck above the bolt and underneath the charging handle. It's just stuck there. And what you get is this. Not a full, uh, or you're not fully able to charge the gun or lock the bolt all the way to the rear. So, we have to kind of do it um, or the best method I've found to do this is to hold the bolt release like you're going to lock back the bolt, pull the charging handle back. Well, well that worked. So <laughs> let me set it up one more time. So lock it back. Where'd that piece of brass go? So set up one more time, right? Piece of brass is over the bolt and the charging handle is above the actual piece of brass. So lock it as far to the, or as far back as it goes, which this is as far back as it's going, right? I can't get it any further. Lock it, then push the charging handle or do a Judy chop forward and it'll drop the piece of brass right out of there where you can grab a mag and charge the gun and, and be back in action. So making sure that you're able to do that and understand what the malfunction feels like is very important. Be sure to check before you go, oh, okay, I have, a, uh, I have to unload or I have to load the gun back up and you go ahead and load the gun thinking that it's not a bolt override and next thing you know, you're, you're adding more things to the mix. So be aware of what it feels like, all right? The trigger feels funny, the bolt feels funny, the charging handle feels funny, Make sure you check it out, okay? Um, right here, I'm gonna put in all the little close-ups so that you guys can actually see them. So, hope this helps. If you guys have any questions on it and you need more information or anything like that, let me know below. 
or message me on any of the social media stuff. Also, check out the links below, guys. There's a lot of stuff in there, uh, especially to help you guys out. It also helps me out with some of them. Um, also, t-shirts, things like that are down there. Let me know. Have a good one.